Hello, what is going on everyone? TJ Jackson here with my wonderful 16-year-old daughter, Dolores Jackson. What'd you do? Just a wave? Yeah. Uh, Didi, show off the back of your, your phone cover. Okay, but my case is crusty because I've had it for like a year. Her case is crusty. Wait, 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 wait. But it's a 16-year-old. Didi's 16 now, as you can see. There's a, I, I, I keep forgetting. You guys haven't seen this. So there's the 16 balloon. Um... She's now 16. As you saw in the thumbnail, she was just a baby, and now she's 16. But this is a 16-year-old's phone cover here in the States, in case you wanted to see it. Go ahead, show it to her. Show it to everyone. Okay, we have a Kit Kat wrapper. We have a sticker, and then we have a sticker of me up there, too. Uh, what is the big sticker? Hello Kitty. Okay. Oh, um, um, I was given this. Um, Didi, Didi, first of all, happy birthday, my love. Today is not your birthday. Your birthday was four days ago on the 20th. But um, I asked Didi if she would do a live with me on Sunday. She said, sure. And uh, I love these lives for multiple reasons. Number one, it's time to, to learn and bond with my daughter. But also, uh, it's a time for me to, oh, I should say it this way. I can picture myself in 20 years, 15, 20, 30 years watching these and just enjoying uh, seeing these videos when we are 20, 30 years earlier. So thank you all uh, for, for making this fun, for engaging, for these comments. Um, it keeps it exciting, keeps it going, and I thank you. If you can tell, I have a cough drop in my mouth. It's a Ludin. Uh, maybe you can't tell. I'm not going to show it because it's not professional. Um, but if I'm stumbling on some words, that's the reason. I just wanted the cough drop. I just bought some, as you saw for the IG members who were on my live. Um, anyways, everyone is saying, like Nicole, belated happy sweet 16, Didi. How does it feel? That's the first and most important question. How does it feel to be 16? Well, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. And um, it feels... Uh... I don't know. It feels like pretty much the same. I can drive, but I can't drive. Why can't you drive? Because you guys aren't letting me drive. Because we're not letting you. And look, when we were younger, 16 has always been the age when you can drive. We were so excited to get our license. At 14 and a half, 15, we were already planning the permit. We were doing all that. Most kids today, I should say it this way, when Royal was turning 16 and Royal's a good seven, eight years older than you, his generation seemed so much la more lax. Um, they didn't seem to care as much to get their license. It seems like you guys are bringing that back where you want your license at 16. Um, my thing as a father, and I've talked this over with mom, Franny, is we want you to make sure you're as mature and as focused and not as distracted as possible. So for us, 16 and a half, should be the earliest, but really it'll likely be 17. I'm just giving you the heads up. She's pushing me, you guys. Wait, I can be I can be 17 though. Maybe. We'll see. Now, again, something I've got to talk. Look at Chewie in the back. Chewie's doing a birthday dance. Okay. Um, we will see. We, me and mama have to talk. You you and I and I told you this um a couple of days ago, but I really feel you should hear it over and over. You've been a really great child. You've been incredibly um, open, incredibly honest, incredibly chilled, incredibly um, focused with your school. I have to say, you I've ha I had high expectations for you, not because I just, that person I have for all kids, but I always believed in your ability to be unique and stay yourself. And you've executed and done that very, very well. So first... I really want to give you your props and commend you for that, Didi. Um, I grew up my entire life never wanting daughters because of the fear of the headache daughters would give me. And you have just completely turned that upside down and been nothing more than than ease and, and free and, and um, for the most part, very pain-free. And I want to thank you so much for that. I mean that. Thank you. Um, is that... A hard thing to do? Is it you just going with the flow or where does that come from? Me? Yeah. I want to know why you seem to do what you're supposed to do. And obviously not a hundred percent perfect, but 
for the most part, you know, you're not into going out and partying past a certain time or experimenting with, with drugs or drinking. You're not doing any of that. So um, where what's the secret to that for you? In case there's another 14, 13, 12-year-old watching, what, what helped you get to this point where you're literally just focused on being a good kid and doing good in school and having fun, which is what you're supposed to be? I mean, she has uh, four point something um, and is so ambitious, taking all AP courses next year scheduled and and taking the max she can this year. And that's not pressure for me. That's just her wanting to be the best kid she can be. And I respect that. So my question to you, Didi, is what could you tell a 12, 13, 14 year old who could be watching on how to on what you're going through and how to do it? Um, I just well, for parties and like drugs and stuff, I've just never seen the benefit from it. It's like I it's just not a good decision like to me. And I just don't see why I would do it. And I don't like parties anyway, mm-hmm. so I'd rather like be inside. Like I'm not a party person. Miss Phoenix says it because her dad is strict. It could be, but I, I don't. Like I said, I don't. And you correct me if I'm wrong. I want you to be completely honest and open. But I don't feel I'm over. We're overbearing. We're, we're, we expect things. We expect good manners. We expect to her to try hard and to be truthful and and all that. But it's not like we're on her about, you need to be back at this time or do that. She doesn't really, and it may come. It may come at 17, 18, but she doesn't really give us those challenging thoughts. I think Joe's going to a bit more <laughs> traditionally, but Dee Dee doesn't. So I don't, I can't really, trust me, I am strict. I believe I'm strict, right? I'm pretty strict, right? Yeah, you're You're like, he's a little. I have expectations, that's all. Yeah. I, I And I've said this to them and I'll say it again. My kids, we are all incredibly blessed and I want to make sure they earn and understand things don't just get given to them in this world. So what's up, Janelle? Um, the one thing we have to work on with Dee, Dee though, is her eating. I mean, literally, she was just eating a cookie for breakfast. Um, Dee, Dee and Rio can um, really improve their eating. JoJo's good. She's... You have to improve your eating. But Dee, Dee, you're worse than I've ever been. Wait, for real? Yes. No, you say I'm not as bad. You lost a te- you lost a tooth. You're going to lose teeth, too. No, I'm not. You're going to lose teeth. Bro. I pro- If you keep on this path, I would not be surprised if you're losing a, t- a tooth or two. By the time you are my age, that's for sure. I have not losing it. Franny says, "Sounds like their dad." What sounds like their dad, Franny? Have um, eating like that. Um, if both our parents, if you ate like mom and you were like mom, your kids would not be the way they are. Uh, Shaden says, "Dee Dee, I am from Egypt, and you look like an Egyptian queen." Ooh! Oh, my best friend. One of my best friends is Egyptian. She's so sweet. Like, I love her so much. And she has, she got a tattoo when she was four right here of a cross. At four? At four in Egypt. Is that a cultural thing? I think it was. I was she like, didn't oh, have really that? nice. That's interesting. Yeah. She, she was like, oh, I got it when I was four. I was like, four? They're like, yeah, I was sleeping and, you know, they like it must dragged me out of, Yeah. And she was like, when I go back to Egypt, because she went recently, I want to get it redone. You know what I mean? I think it's I think it's really nice. Um this you got some good questions coming up. And Denise says, Happy birthday, Dee Dee. Thank you. Felipa. Felipa, Felipa, with the first of all, <laughs> uh Felipa, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much Thank um, you, for Felipa. the super chat. Um, that's very sweet of you. That's that's Dee Dee. What do you want to say to Felipa? Thank you so much, Felipa. She's so sweet. And um, oh, we love you too, Felipa. And that's a cool picture. Felipa, you know what? I'll always think of you as someone who is a traveler like us. You, you and how you view tra- traveling for your families reminds me of me. So that's <laughs> always, I don't know if I've ever told you that, but that's always going to be my connection with you. Just letting you know. One of them. Um, let's see. Richard says, what was your birthday gifts? I got I got some jewelry. I got a 
necklace from them. It was like a heart necklace. Okay. It was nice. From us. Yes. Yes. We we gave her a necklace of a heart for her six sweet sixteen. And then she got some cool little gifts from her friends. Um, she's gonna get some money also from us. That's something we do. I think we've told you guys this. We do um she can either have a big part, not a big party, but a party, a traditional type of party, or we give her several hundred dollars. Uh, it's been usually 300. Um, Francis and I are discussing whether it should be a bit more, uh, especially because it's her 16th birthday. She wouldn't get it all at once, but we'd put it in her account. That way, if she wants to go get um, boba or a movie or anything like that, she has her own funds. But she elected, like I think I've done, I think my mom started this little thing where you can have a party or or money. And she elected for a get together on the day, which doesn't count as a party. So her closest friends came by and they hung out for the day and we sang happy birthday. And then she gets a good amount of money, right? I didn't ask for gifts though, too. Yeah, well, that usually comes regardless of if, if it's a party or not. So there you go. I don't, do I get extra money because I didn't ask for gifts? Um, No, you got some gifts from us already. And then the money is in lieu of a party, which is also a gift. Because <laughs> if we are throwing you a party, that should be the primary gift. True. If that all makes sense. Mama says, I'm so proud of you, Ditos. You're a very special girl, and I love you so much. I love you more, Bob. Um, Richard has a great question. Uh, Richard, <laughs> coming back to Richard. Richard says, Didi. By the way, Richard's a Clippers fan. <laughs> so, And now that he has Kawhi Leonard, that's the thing that we go through. Uh -oh. um, but anyways, Richard said, no, Richard's cool, though. And Richard loves the I Don't Deserve This music video. Really? Yeah. Um, anyways, Richard says, Didi, what's your favorite dad song? Mm, I and, don't know. Especially because I'm bad with the released ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, don't don't worry about that. Uh, don't worry about You could say one that's not I'm released. also bad with titles, though. You can sing a bit of it or hum a bit of it or just say the one that goes like this, and I'll try to help you get there. It, I don't know, because whenever he plays a song, I'm like, I really like this song. And I have, like, five of them, but, like, I can't, like, choose one. And I really don't think any of them are the released ones. Although, I we were listening to MMM on the drive yesterday, and she really reacted to uh, Moving On. She liked Moving On. Um, but there was a good handful of songs that she really liked and will sing along with that haven't came out yet. Um, right? Yeah. So you don't want to give a name though, in case in 20 years we want to watch this? I just I I like I'm really bad with names. I, I just I don't know. All right. You don't want to sing a bit of it, right? No, I'm scared. <laughs> I figured that. Um Darnetta, I, I need to expand this so it's a little bigger. There we go. Darnetta okay. says, I love that. No drugs, stay positive and follow your dreams. Reach for the stars, love. I love that. Just 100%. 100%. Um, Hari Velo. H Hari Velo? Um, Hari Velo says, happy you from Madagascar. Well, hello, Hari Velo. Um, Sophia with a, a super chat. Thank you so much, Sophia. Sophia says, happy birthday, Didi. How does it feel to be 16? Also, are you going to start having driving lessons? Thank you. Um, it feels... Pretty much the same as of now. Um, oh, I guess. Well, this is, has it hit. But next year, I'm going to be able to go off campus for lunch. Ooh. That's going to be fun. Um, Yeah, I remember doing that, too. I mean, you all probably remember when you go to school, you can't get off the campus. But when you hit a certain age, you can and drive yourself to go get lunch during a 45-minute to an hour break. Um, in your case, is it a couple hours? Too? It's 40. 40 minutes. That's tough to get there and back. I know. Everyone's rushing. Um, so I, I guess that's, um, yeah, that's that's a, a, an, I don't want to say obvious, but a, a normal thing to be excited about. Uh, are you going to start driving, start having driving lessons? Yes. That's another reason why I'm kind of leaning on 17. Didi, I'm not worried with Didi, but I'm going to give you guys a secret. Um, once they hit 18, I feel like all my kids do this. It's not, you know what, though? I would have been the same way. I would have been yawning at more in, at this time. When I, I yawn so often. I did a live with Royal when we were in Utah, and he was yawning throughout it. 
but I would have been the same way. I'd I yawn like, when I play tennis. Uh, <laughs> Do you realize that? I yawn all the time. I think it's just like when I'm like when I have a shortness of breath, I yawn. But people are like, oh, am I, am I boring you? I'm like, bro, no, I just yawn like all the time. You're probably tired too, Didi. You're probably un, you needing a, a more sleep. And that is why her school district, and I think many more are starting to do this. You know, on Wednesdays, how you used to get out early? Um, maybe a lot of you get out early on one day a week. What they started doing is going in later so that the kids can get more sleep. So on Wednesday, she doesn't start school till around 10. And I think that's a, such a smart move so that these kids can sleep in and get more sleep. Um, I never get more sleep, though. I wake up early to do homework. Well, or mm. get food. Um, my life, my hurdles, and my survival, aka Balmy, with the super chat. Um, thank you, Balmy, and thank you for being a super member. Um, Balmy says, Happy birthday, beautiful Deedles. Oh, and hi, Foofy. Go get yourself some boba on me. That's awesome. Deedles <laughs> is literally me, and it's great. What are your plans for this year? Love y'all. Two years away from 18. Mad. It's so true, Bami. And yes, she is very much like you. Didi is known in her circles as the silly one, and she's always been the silly one, right? Yeah. Didi's always been silly, and we know you, Bami. You're the silly one of our family here at the Family <laughs> Rule, so um, you guys definitely have the similarities. Uh, what are your plans for this year, Didi? Um, uh, I don't know. Hopefully... I feel like my friends are going to get their license so I can maybe do some stuff in the next, maybe not the next year. You said do some music? No. Oh, I thought I heard that. Maybe. Yeah. Because I did see someone wanted to know, and thank you, Bomi, for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, I think it was it Richard. Let me see. Did I? I will use I may, that money I'm, for Boba. You will. Oh, there you go, Bonnie. Um, someone had asked, "Will you? Do you want to sing, um, like your dad?" Thought I saw that, it's but right here. Oh, there you go, Irene, Didi. Do you sing like your dad? Um, I try to sing. I've never gotten lessons. You don't need lessons. You got lessons. Uh, I got lessons, but the lessons I got. A, I didn't get them for a super long time. And then the second thing is the reason why you don't need, I shouldn't say this, but the reason why you don't need it is because YouTube are a lot of, on YouTube are those videos of what people do with those lessons. You hear me do those scales, mm -hmm. right, on my YouTube videos? That is a lesson. That is the lesson I got. I never got a lesson in terms of when you sing this word, sing it like this. Or, um, you know, it was very why? much. Just Isn't that helpful? Did. Um, you know, Didi, I would think so, but just the lessons I got, and I went to the best of the best, um, Mr. Seth Riggs, but we would go on a piano. Um, he obviously was a connection from my own, from my uncle, but he would play um scales and we would do what we what you hear me do all the time, which I'm not gonna do at because it's too early, but um <laughs> um that's the best way to practice your singing is, is to practice scales. It's it's you know what, though? Thinking about it now, it makes sense because if you go to a guitar lesson, they'll pra have you practice scales. So scales is the is the relationship of notes. And if you can have complete control of your ability to go from note to note, it will make you a better singer, a better player, whatever. So it makes sense that scales are such a priority. What if, like, you know when they say, like, oh, you have to sing from, like, your whatever diet from down here yeah, that is i don't know true. how to do that at all like, i'll I help you i hope you but people used to say that me about me as well because they used to say i used to sing through my nose and my <laughs> head voice um and not so much from my diaphragm and i didn't really and maybe that's you I know feel like you don't need it though i feel like your music is like different you don't need to be like really loud. You, you're yeah, loud sometimes. I, I think the best thing that I did learn is if you place your hand on your belly button, you need to learn how to breathe where it lifts from below. Like so you're really breathing and expanding. I'm not going to show it here, but you're really expanding your stomach instead of just the breathing we think we're doing where 
It's not here. It's down here. Try to breathe from. Oh. That's a big tip. So, like, mm. if you're going to hold a long note, get, you can get a lot more air if you learn to really use your ability to bring in the air. Mm. Um, but, yeah, you know what? I, I, I the, the Honestly, something I think would be great for you is choir. I've made that no secret. That's something I feel if you really want to, if you think you want to sing, you should be doing choir. I know, but I have no room. Decisions, decisions. I have like four electives I want to do. Um, yeah, it's tough. But choir is great because you'll learn to sing harmonies that you wouldn't naturally sing. And that and you're learning melodies and um intervals that aren't in popular music that that can help you and pay dividends later. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, at Patricia it does. My course teacher told me it helps you hold notes longer. Absolutely. There is there is some important things, but it's not as in my opinion, it's not as, especially for the kind of singer you would want to be. It's not like you're you're singing Broadway. That that's a whole nother animal. You got to project. A lot of times, you know, you you got to fill up a whole auditorium. But if you're just singing with the mic here, and um, I think I think there's something cool about doing it your own unique way because it gives you a, a different voice, which makes people like it or not. But the main thing, one more last thing: if you ever become a singer. Just know you're going to have haters and you're going to have people that love you. There's going to be that in everything, and everything you do. Career. Don't pay attention to the haters. I mean, let's think about it. Let's really think about this. Let's say you're on your favorite YouTube channel or you're just on YouTube or you're on Instagram or on TikTok. And there's something that you don't think was good. You think it was cheesy. It was bad. Poorly done. Are you going to take the time out to say that was really bad in a comment? No. No. So for someone to do that, what kind of what does it say about that person? That they are going to take time out of their day to comment that they thought that was bad. Yeah. Think of it from that approach. That's what they had to do to do that. Yeah. There's something off with them. No matter if I scroll through something and I saw the worst looking <laughs> picture or art that I thought, I'm not going to say that was so horrible. Ha ha ha. <laughs> You know, so you got to think of it from that approach. Um, for, and, and exactly, Grayson, for you or anyone else who's doing their thing, do it for the people that love you. You got to understand if you're getting bad comments or bad energy from people, something's off on them. To be able to waste their own time to bring you down, that, that's a reflection of them, not you, really. Um, and that's for anything. That's beyond music. Okay, so the movie, and um, thank you all for commenting, like Carrie, who just said, well said, TJ. I appreciate those those words and comments. Um, the movie Raider with the super chat says, happy birthday, Didi. Hope you have a great day. Who's your favorite actor or actress? And TJ, what is your favorite thing about Didi? So um, you go first. Mm -hmm. Or do you need time to figure out who your favorite actor or, or actress is? Um, yeah. Uh, you need time? Well, I mean, I don't think I'll find one. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. I'll go first. Uh, first of all, thank you for the super chat, Movie Raider. Thank you. Um, my favorite thing about Didi is her uniqueness. Um, Didi does her own thing. She dresses different. She listens to different music. She's very, very different and unique, and I, I love that about her. I don't know. I don't know if people, like, make fun of her. I don't think so, but I'm sure some people do. I don't know if she just doesn't know about it or doesn't care about it, but I want to make sure she always keeps her individuality and does her thing. Whatever feels right in her heart, I want her to do that, um, regardless of the fee external feedback. Her love for herself and her happiness has to come internally, not externally, not from those outside. Um, the other thing I love about Didi is her playfulness. I've noticed Didi has that beautiful gene, um, like Francis, that they are very optimistic and positive people. They're not negative. Um, I'm not saying she's never down, she's never sad, but she has that inner thing of if I'm sad or down, I don't want to bring everyone else down. And she's always the life of a party. And she's always bringing people up with her vibe and 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 energy. That's a powerful thing, and that's a very um, unique trait 
especially at her age, I think. There's others that are happy and fun that she's probably thinking of of her peers, but they're also will bring be, bring down negativity. Usually those people who are really upbeat have a really swing side where they're really down and they bring that side of themselves too. But Dee Dee's always bringing some positive and fun um, energy. So that's probably my favorite thing. Now, back to you, Dee Dee. Your favorite actor or actress? I don't watch TV or movies like ever. So I'm like really bad. At, I'm so bad at names. You were, you I were, don't know like names. You were mentioning a couple of actors that you thought you liked on the drive to the tennis match last week or two weeks. Was Joe saying that? I thought so. But there was one that you said you showed me. Um, she was a younger girl, probably 19, 20. Like, I really like her. Oh, uh, was it the the mixed girl? Yes, I think so. Oh, we just I don't know. Oh, I think her name is Taylor Russell. I think I've seen her in one or two movies. I like her look and I like her vibe as a character. She plays like the quiet, like she's cool. She's cool. Um, she, she no, she's like she looks like a teenager, but I think she's like late twenties. Yeah, well, that something. happens. That happens a lot. Yeah. Um, Gary says, "Lovely to see you both." Wishing Dee Dee. A very happy birthday from Ireland. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. That's cool, Gary. Uh, Copcast wants to know if you have a TikTok account. I do. What is it? It's Dolores underscore Dior. Okay. All so lowercase. Let me uh, write this. Um, Dolores. Am I doing this right? Dolores underscore Dior. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. This is Dee Dee's TikTok. Oh, I guess I should have put the at handle. Oh, well. <laughs> right? Do you, does TikTok do that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. That's DD's. Now, that's your Instagram, but then you have another one too, huh? Do you want to share that other one or which one do you? Is the other one more for you? Okay. That cool. one's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's your Instagram then too, technically. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Let's see what else we got here. We have something from Nick who says, Didi, you will graduate in two years. Then your adult life begins. Are you excited for it? Um, kind of. I feel like adults when they hit eighteen aren't really adults. Like that, they. I feel like you gain some independence, but you're not like a, a like true a, a adult. True adult, yeah. Like I don't think I'll I'll turn. You're not gonna like turn eighteen like the second you turn eighteen. You're like okay, I'm out. Gonna start my own. Some life. Some people you know do that, I mean? Didi. I know, but I just. Well, do they succeed a lot with that? No. They usually bump <laughs> their heads quite a bit. Exactly. So I think you should be very prepared. One thing I want to tell you, too, 18. is always be humble. That is my biggest advice for not just you, any teens, any kids. And it's so tough because biologically, your goal as a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16-year-old is to find your independent self. It's to find the ability to survive on your own. So you're breaking norms. You're stretching yourself. But in the case, whether it's a teacher, a parent, an uncle, family member, a coach, gives you cumbling words, listen to them. Listen to them and digest them and understand. It takes, it's harder to be hard on someone Um than to just let them do whatever they want. It's easy to just say, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. It's less work. But for those, whether it's a teacher, like I said, a coach or another adult who's willing to give their time to help you become a better person, be humble and listen to those words. Very, yeah. very important. And always be kind. Uh, Sanaya says, she looks like your mom, TJ. She definitely does. Yeah, she, you get that a lot, right? Uh, yeah. You, you know... You you have a different, I think you have a different natural personality than my mom, but you your your physical attributes, your hands, your body, and definitely your look is definitely my mom. Really? But my my from what I can remember, I wish Taj or Terrell can comment more, but uh Grandma Didi was was pretty sharp. She was a lot of fun though, too. She was a lot of fun. She smiled, she was a life party, but if she you crossed her or, or upset her or did something to one of her kids or to one of her kids friends or any kid she switched she was a little tough one she's from new york 
So <laughs> a New York version, not a pampered version like you, Didi. <laughs> uh clements thank you so much uh for the super chat clement says happy birthday beautiful Didi. thank you clement um and then stephanie who's uh, a super member says uh with the super chat says happy 16th birthday Didi. do you still draw my teens were watching an older family rules video and love seeing your artwork i love this question stephanie for multiple reasons i love this question too I'm on her. I, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to tell her to do a drawing YouTube channel where she just had one shot of her drawing and another shot of her face where she's just talking. That would be such a fun, cool channel for young kids and, and teens to watch. And maybe one day she will do it because she, do you still draw? I do. She does. I'm in art class. Which you love. I do. I want to get a cord. There's like a cord you can wear in graduation for art, like on your, you know, your gown. So, I mean, if that day ever comes where you want to do an art channel, let me know. I think it would be great. Can I show my fish? You have it? I have a picture. Yeah, show it. Absolutely. You want to send it to me? Send it to me so that I can upload it and it's done right. Okay. Because art, I don't want to just turn around. Okay. While she's finding the fish. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, Melly, who's been a member for 10 months. Um, thanks for that, Melly, all the support. Melly says, happy birthday, Deedles. I hope 16 will treat you well. And Didi, do you listen to any of your dad's songs or Jackson songs? Love you too with all my heart. We love you too, Melly. Very sweet. She, she, go, go ahead. You answer that, Didi. Do you listen to any of your dad's songs or Jackson songs? You can be honest, babe. What do you mean? Like in my free time? I mean, you hear it definitely when I'm working on it and listening, but on your free time. I feel like I, I hear his songs quite a bit. So, so <laughs> oh, she's sick of them by the time. I get it. Every single time I am in the car, he is playing his music. And there's like rarely any other music played. So that's my fair share of my dad's my dad's music. I, I I hear it quite a bit. Valid. Do you have a 3T <laughs> song or on your, any of your playlists? I do. Which I have one? a story of love. On my playlist, my main one. Yes, I love that one. I love this. I love that song. Uh, any other songs? Jackson songs. Uncle Michael, Auntie Janet, Jackson Five, Jermaine Jackson, Tito Jackson. Any of them on any of your playlists? Well, I I had I used to have you remember when we had Apple Music or something. Mm -hmm. I had a playlist that was like they had all of the songs on it. You know what I mean? Like oh, it, Jackson playlist. Yeah, it was. It was one of. Did you make it or someone else made it? I don't know. We no, we had it downloaded. You know. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think you downloaded something so we would be able to like let's do it offline. And I was like, I was young and I didn't um, know how to download it myself. Chewy's getting frustrated. That was Chewy. He's trying to get a tennis ball under the couch. Um, so I I listen to a whole playlist, some playlists of those, but. You know when you listen to a lot of songs and you get like you it's overplayed and you get like a little tired of it and mm -hmm. you can find new songs. That's kind of what I did. These two? No, I just sent you this one. Did you air airdrop it to the MacBook? I don't think this one is quite appropriate it's for you. Not, it's art. Okay, fine. But airdrop both. Hold on. No, I said it. Uh, airdrop both of them. Yeah, like that, and then airdrop. Oh, to your MacBook. Yeah, so it just shows up there. There you go. Okay. So we're going to get some DD art. Um, yes. And I, you okay if I show both? Yeah. And yeah. I also. Do you want to talk about them both? Sure. All right. <laughs> um, do you want them on the same screen or you want to do one at a time? When, uh, this is live. This is chill. I don't know. Whatever you think. Whatever I think. All right. Uh, I, um, oh, I did this too. Yeah, send it. You're an artist. Okay, uh, yeah, this is this is the time. We're gonna we're gonna add some some artworks if that's okay, y'all. To um Did to you see thing. this that I did? I'm not gonna add it but did you see I've that? not seen that one either. You like that? Um I that's cool. Uh okay. Cherie says happy birthday. Thank you so much, Cherise. Um Tiffany says uh happy birthday, Dee. Oh, and you know you. what I just learned, Dee Dee? You know, is is that H E I C 
Um, is that a different format? Is that a Mac format that's not working? H-E-I-C. Yeah, because unfortunately... Okay, now... Hold, hold on, you guys. Hold on. Toria, I'm going to send this to you, if that's okay, to see if it will... Hopefully it will... Or maybe you can get it up. Okay, we'll, we'll go somewhere else first. And then hopefully, let me know, Toria, if, if that will work, if you could put it up for us. Um, okay, and then let's see what else we have. We have some more comments I want to get to. Look at this, you guys. Um, we have a super chat from Kimberly. Uh, thank you so much, Kimberly, thank for you, the Kimberly. super chat. Kimberly says, happy birthday, Dee Dee. Always listen to mom and dad. Remember, they have been 16 before and will never steer you wrong. But you something good from West Virginia. That is so sweet. Um, Kimberly, thank you for this. Um, it's important for, for our kids to hear from other adults um, some advice. So I appreciate these words. And I thank you very much. Anything you want to say to Kimberly? Thank you. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm so happy I have like strong minded parents basically my dad has been always open to like information from any point you know that's just like very true and he was always you know you gotta listen to both sides like don't like steer one way and just like stick to it without like having some sort of understanding and that's like really helped me because some people are just like, oh no, it's this is right, yeah. you know, and it's not like there's always people are believing something for a reason. Do you know what I mean? And he's taught me that. And he's I feel like that's why I value his ideas so much because he really thinks about them with like he has information about like everything. Yeah. So I take a, a lot of my my well, mind is from him. And my, my thing is this, Didi. Always be a critical thinker. Always see as many sides to a statement and a position as possible. But I also think there's another component that's very important. That's humility. Be humble enough to, to know you could be wrong. To, to know that I think sometimes people are so fixated on being right for their own ego, for their own pride of being right, to feel good of being right, that they will blindly follow a, a, a case or finally blindly follow a position that isn't the stronger position. So be to the point where you're okay with being wrong. There's actually a benefit of being wrong. There's a growth that happens when you can acknowledge that you are wrong and it's, it's incredible. So don't be afraid to be wrong. Uh, be afraid of not taking a position, be afraid of not doing anything of inaction. But once you do something and you are right or wrong, Embrace it. It's very important. Very, very important. Yeah, that's good too. Oh, yeah. Um, Brenda wants to know, thank you again, uh, Kimberly, for the super chat. Brenda, who is a super member, says, Didi, besides piano and guitar, have you thought of lear learning any other instruments? Happy birthday. Belate uh, happy belated birthday. Keep shining. I would like to grow on both my piano and guitar skills. Mm -hmm. I've laid off from piano for quite a few years. I can't read it anymore, which is very sad. And I, I just, I lost it. I lost my touch. Guitar, I never really, I never really got to like a point where I was satisfied with my ability to play. Like I never, I didn't practice that much. And I've just, I'm, I think there was like first semester I just I had so much work I was just I, I didn't have any time for my instruments so I have to get back in that habit because I love instruments I've also I've thought of playing violin I played flute in sixth grade flute was fun I was pretty good you've at done it. a lot of instruments Didi is also so far um I think the most creative of all the kids. I really do. She's incredibly creative and artistic and things just come naturally to Didi. Um, reminds me truthfully of Jafar. Things come very easy to Jafar. Um, embrace that. Don't let anyone tell you um, you need, you need to be in this box. Keep that, that that's, that's a powerful trait to have and, and a special one. So 
I think, um, I honestly, I truly feel this way. Whatever you do want to do in life, whether it's art or not, you're going to do well at it. I really believe that. So always know that. Um, okay, let's see some art. And then um, there's a couple other things. But first, before we see the art, Legitimacy 180 says, Didi, are there two ear piercings in your ears? Yes, there is. We actually, Legitimacy, if you are a night member, we actually um, did a video of her getting her second ear piercing. Did? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, we went and got it done and we've. You probably haven't seen oh, it. Oh, I think. Yeah, just a year ago, right? Six months ago? Yeah. You did it? And uh, yeah, we we uh, um, did a, a bonus content video on her getting her second ear piercing. So yes, so night members, um, take a look or look out for that. Um, I think if you type in, I think there's a playlist and with all the videos you get as a night member, and it will be one of those. It'll be basically getting my ears pierced. I do love piercings. Not excessive ones, but I do love the simple ones like everyone has. Um, Michael, she did ask for a third one soon. Um, Michael Jackson fan says, hello, Didi. How many languages can you speak? I could speak two. Well, I could speak one a little. <laughs> like a little bit. Which, which, wait, you can speak two well? Yeah. Spanish and English? Yeah. And then you said you could speak another one? No, I said I could speak... I, I can't speak another one, but I I did do some learning. Japanese. Yes. Did you, did you retain any of that? Yes. That's so cool. Yeah, you have an amazing mind. Yeah, like what I I won't be able to like fully understand, but I can pick up like words. I'm like, oh, I know that. You know what I mean? Uh, Didi, embrace that. Learn multiple languages. Like that's so great. It's such a great quality to have. If you could pick up things quick, pick them all up. You should do that too. I, I do like Japanese. That was a cool language to learn. Um, Donna. Do, look at Donna. Oh with my the, gosh. Donna with the super chat. Donna, that is so sweet she of you. She didn't even put anything. <laughs> Donna, that's She's so okay. sweet of you. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Um, That's very sweet. She's going to get a lot of boba with that, I think. <laughs> Um, that is a lot of boba. That's like eleven bobas. <laughs> that's really sweet of you, um, Donna. So thank you so much. Um, from from Twitch, right? That's called Twitch, right? That logo. Yes, I'm just. Oh so yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Um, X says, "Congrats on your birthday." Very cool. Thank you. What thank animal you. is that? I think that's is that like a beaver. I think it's Pokemon. Um, is it? That's not Pokemon. I think it is. Okay, we have some art to share. Uh, let's do this. This is really cool. All right. Okay, so we have two. Oh, first, we will do um two pictures, two artistic pictures. Um, these are both drawn by you, Diddy. The right one is watercolor and colored pencil. The left one is watercolor and marker and marker okay so I, do, I do you like want to talk about either of these in depth my friend um i don't know if, i don't know if they know renee i've been with her for quite a bit she Has came renee over been in any of the vlogs <laughs> maybe she's been into my tiktoks and they were, seemed to really like her she's like oh she's so pretty okay but I took everything down because I thought the music wasn't working. <laughs> that was a bad part on me. But Renee came over uh, this, I think, last weekend. And we were we got, like, a little bored. We were, like, I was, like, do you want to, like, draw or something? She was, like, oh, my gosh, yeah. So we did watercolor. I brought out my colored pencils, all my art supplies, paint brushes. And then we made our little art. And I did that one on the left. Is there one of these that you like better? I like the fish because I spent literally so much time on that fish. It's first, that one was for school. What's cool about the fish too is the depth of the coloring of the scale, the section. Uh, that's hard to get all those different colors in a way that makes it look like something. It was so really, well done. It was really fun. Thank you. Okay. And then um, let's, let's see. Um, let's see. Toria doesn't think I shared the, I think I have the piercing one. We'll put a link to it. 
I'm pretty sure I have. If not, I'll share it. But uh, we'll put a link in the description box, or maybe it'll be on the giving tree. Where's the giving tree? Wait a second. <laughs> this isn't a family rules thing without the giving tree. Boom. There we go. Um, dang, how long has that been gone for? I think forever. No, it hasn't been forever. But anyways, there's the giving tree. <laughs> They're like, um, vlog. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, we'll show more art in a bit to close out. There's one more thing I want to show. But um, first, there's a couple more super chats that I want to get to. And that's April with the super chat who says, Hey, TJ, and happy belated birthday. Beautiful Didi. Wishing you many more to come. Much love to you both. Thank you. Um, very, very sweet. Thank you so much, April. Um, and then Donna says, I'm sorry, first time doing that. I accidentally sent it without a message. Oh. <laughs> it's all good, Donna. Um, thank you so much. You are always so sweet to me and my family. I, I just want to thank you, uh, from the bottom of my heart, Donna. So thank you. Um, and say, give a big hug to all the kids. Um, I love them as well. So please. Um, Dealey Doobie says, Didi, now you are 16. Always try to be mindful of the company you keep because we are always influenced by our surroundings and the company we keep. Great, great, great point. Um, you understand what she's saying, right? Yeah. It's so, so true. And we can get so influenced without even realizing we're getting influenced. So always know that. Okay. You, you hang around good people. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Um, I was talking about that yesterday, how much of an influence your peers are. It's people. crucial, man. It's crucial, crucial, crucial. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have something from Sandra who says, Happy Sweet 16 to Didi and greetings from Gary, Indiana. Didi definitely favors her grandma. Was it always planned to name her Dolores or did you make that decision after she was born? Uh, Sandra, I love this question. I love this question because I don't know if Didi knows this answer, but I'm also going to give a little short story from a different family member about this that Didi definitely doesn't know and that you all know, don't know. Um, yes, my plan was always to name my first daughter, born daughter, uh, after my mother. Um, and when we found out Didi was going to be a girl, it was already known her first name would be Dolores. We were just trying to figure out a middle name that would start with the D as well. Um, I loved, it's not like I had Dior for a long time, but I just liked the strength of that short name. Um, Dior is just a cool, cool name. I love that. You do like it? Yeah, everyone loves it. I like Dolores Dior. Yeah, it's just cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, your middle name is Dior? Yeah, and truthfully, like if if mom's name wasn't Dolores, a cool first name would just be Dior. Yeah, I think that's a cool name. Dior is cool. So, um, but anyways, I do remember like six months ago, I thought of another cool name that started with D E, and I was like, dang, that should have been her middle name. What? I can't remember it right now, but the fact that you said you like Dior makes me happy. So, uh, it all happened the way it was supposed to be, but. Uh, this is the story I wanted to share. After when she was just a baby, grandma said, I have a question. And I was like, yeah. She goes, did you always want to name your first daughter? Um, no, this is what it was. She says, what What did you name her? And and I said, uh, Dolores. And grandma said, I knew it. Mm -hmm. And she just started crying. It was really, really sweet. Um, whenever grandma uh, talks about grandma Didi, grandma, whenever grandma Catherine talks about Grandma Didi. She gets so emotional and, and it's really, really sweet. So um, I just want to make sure I share that to you, Didi, in case uh, you never have heard that before. She's so cute. She is amazing. Her, I'm telling you all right now, that is the... Um, Chewy. Th that is so important for my family is Grandma Catherine. And I don't just mean um, this immediate family of mine but for our extended entire family. Grandma is our backbone, and we all love you so much, Grandma. Um, Donna wants to know, Didi, are there any new countries that you would like to visit? Uh, yes. Which ones? Um, I don't know, because 
I never know much about the country until we go. And then I'm like, oh, that was so nice. You know what I mean? I don't do my research prior. And I should, but we don't really have a class about, like, I don't know what other countries look like. Well, we learn about them, obviously, from, like, history and stuff. But it's not, like. I was watching an interview from Denzel Washington from, like, five years ago. And I guess he takes his family to Europe every um, summer to one country and they spend like two to three weeks there to really get the culture. That's something I wish I would do more. And um, I just think there's something very valuable and powerful about doing that. So um, there's so many wonderful countries out there. I do love traveling. Chewy keeps trying to play. Chewy, we're doing a live, but we can't, we can't play right now. Um, You want to read this one? (laughs) Konichiwa, right? Konichiwa. 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 What does that mean again? Hello? Hello, yes. Konnichiwa. That's very cool. Um, Kimberly wants to, Kimmy's back wants to know, what's your favorite subject? I have main four, um, English. Favorite, but also worst. You like English? Yes. So That's fun. Cool. I didn't like English, English last year. Or like, maybe the year before but this year is sophomore year english is so fun and i love my teacher that kit kat rapper is from her P- teacher's pet <laughs> probably kathy says my husband sings never give up on what you want happy birthday Didi. that's so Thank true you. kathy um Didi, if you don't start singing now and it ends up being when you're 35 40 there's no age honey just do what you want and what feels good to you um, you'll be happy that you finally did it. The only thing you'll wonder is why I didn't do this earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, Loretta Gilmore. Loretta says, I remember TJ when he was 16 going to Buckley. Your grandmother was my best friend. Didi smiling from heaven. Thank you so much for that, Loretta. And sending you all my love. So thank you so much for commenting on this. Um, you know, as I said in the beginning, for me, one of my main loves of doing these videos, especially on their big birthdays, is for them when they're 10, 20, 30 years down the line to be able to rewatch this. They don't have to go through um, a storage unit to find a cassette that may not work anymore or that the player doesn't work or they can't find it. They can just go on a platform and type it in and watch. Um, that is one of the bigger reasons why we did the family rules. Um, and these are some of my favorite things to do on the family rules are these lives. And your comments, especially ones like these where it's um, a personal one, uh, mean a lot. So thank you. Um, Okay, what else do we have? Let's see. We'll do a couple more comments, um, and then we will wrap it up. Samara says, TJ and Didi, love you more, and we have completed fasting 13 days. It's the holy month of Ramadan. Nice. Congrats. Well done. Um, Samara, or... Grayson says, TJ, I just did a speech in college over the DDJF Music Kills. I'm doing music therapy and think it went really well. Also, DD does it almost scare you to get older? Mm, kind of. A little. I mean, you're, you're only a child once. You're, most of your sure. life, you're an adult. So I want to hold on to these years where I can be pampered and <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> yeah. That's smart. Not have real, real problems yet. <laughs> That's very smart, Dee. Um, enjoy your youth, honey. Um, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your youth. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, what else we got? So cool. So many cool people out here. Um, I don't know how to read this. It's Micah. Didi Wakui Desu? Kawaii Des, I think. It's Japanese? Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, Didi wa Kawaii Des. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Don't know what was said or what was meant, but uh, Didi seems to have got it. So cool. Um, all right, I think we'll go we'll end with the weird the weird says so what have you learned in your 16 years do you have goals so you kind of answered your goals or did you not no yeah yeah okay i i guess a cool thing would be to share is what you've learned in 16 years um learned a lot i mean i don't know 
I've learned, you know, he's always like, be humble, be open minded, do the right thing. I have good, I have good structure from my parents. Um, I don't really know what else I've learned. What would you I've say? just I've learned to also like maybe I'm he says I'm a little too much of this, but I've I don't really pick fights or like stand up for myself hmm. kind of. So Joe is the opposite. Well, she's not the opposite, but she has more of that, which I it is really cool. Like I saw someone, she was like saying something and she was like, Oh, well, I don't care, you know, and I was like I would never like do that. And she's she's a lot like mom in that way. Yeah. She, I was like, oh my gosh, that was like exactly like mom. That's cool. She's but really you know what, dude? The first step in developing that is seeing it and understanding it. And the main reason why I want you to have that trait is um to stand up for yourself. I I I need to just find this quote, but <laughs> most of your time with me will be before you're 18, a good 80% of your life. It's the only time I get with you. So our job as parents is to try to make sure you're as um, equipped and capable to handle yourself and you pick good people to be around, especially your spouse. That is the single most important decision you can ever make is who you marry. And um, that person is going to be responsible for a lot in your life. The the love you feel, your happiness. Um, and I don't want to... Let me say it this way. They're, they're going to have the biggest role in that. You are responsible for it, but they have played a huge role in how you feel and how you approach things and your mindset. Because your mind and, and what you learn definitely keep changing as you grow up. But that person has got to be a really um, honorable person as well. Don't settle for, for someone who um, is bringing you down, who's making you feel lower than you need to feel. Mm -hmm. Um it's very, very, very important. Um, but there's still time for that. You know, you just turned 16 and you still have several and many more years with us and our guidance. And we will always be there to help. And, and that's one of the cool things, the relationship we have with all the adult kids is they lean on us for advice and comments and, and opinions. And, and it's so beautiful that to me, that is um, the definition of, of success is being able to give my input you know franny and i talk about that all the time and it's not just me they call they, they'll call francis and ask questions and i love that and that's important always know you have that and it's maybe just not the, us it could be your siblings could be some of your cousins rely on that don't be afraid to to hear that so so important um there's one more thing that i forgot to do um and that is to share the other art piece um Two other cool uh, pieces of art, uh, <laughs> Dee Dee's work. These are older though, right? The right one is my newest, mm, my second newest, and the left one is I think that was my like yeah the oldest one. So newest. One. What what um tell us a bit about what these are. The one on the left is you. Both from school. Uh yes, the left one is me. It's incredible, Dee Dee. She was like, "Oh, you're gonna do a portrait," and I was like. I'm not going to do a portrait of myself, but I'll, I'll do one. I'll like kind of dodge a bullet and do it of me as a baby. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> and then I did that. So, and then I also, I did the one on the right when she, we were supposed to make mandalas and I got extra credit for adding, you know, you know, that pattern around it. So I wanted those extra credit points. So I did it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Backgrounds take a while. Like I didn't realize that, you know, because it's not the main, the main focus. So I didn't really like care. But that but took me so long. Those details to me are so important in the quality of the work, mm -hmm. and that is, I mean, that's something I would want you to know, which I think you know as an artist that those details is what makes the whole thing great. Um, whether it's movies, whether it's music, drawings, um, pictures, small details um, are are what give it that extra coolness, yeah. that extra greatness. So, uh, exactly. Sophia says, "I love the drawings; they're so detailed. It's important." Thank you. Important. Um, okay, I think this has been a really cool live, and 
I want to thank you all for joining. I want to thank everyone who super chatted. Um, very sweet of you. Um, Didi's going to have fun. So thank you so much. And to you, Didi, I just want to thank you again for being you. I'm honored to be your father. I love you. And um, always be you. Always smile and always know the future is bright. And um, live your life with gratitude, humility, and kindness. And of course, love. Love you too. And I love you guys too. <laughs> all right. We are going to wrap this up. Uh, love you all. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a wonderful weekend. And adios, everyone. Bye.